Greetings and Namaskar to each one who came here to watch this video. In this video, we are going to study inadequacy of classical mechanics. Additionally, I will give you tricks to learn these points. So let's begin. Well, in previous video, we saw that classical mechanics refers to the pre-19th century while quantum mechanics refers to the post 19th century. So obviously classical mechanics was failed to explain few of the phenomenon. That's why we needed to move on to the new physics of quantum or modern physics. Well, the first question arises is that what is classical mechanics? So the Basic of the development of classical mechanics is based on the Newton's three laws law of inertia, law of force, law of action, and reaction. Classical mechanics explains correctly the motion of celestial bodies like planets, stars, and microscopic terrestrial bodies. It is also known as Newtonian mechanics. It explains the motion of the big bodies, or we can say observable bodies, correctly. From here, we can get the idea regarding the reason of its failure. Might be, it is failing to explain the motion of small particles. So now, coming to the points of the inadequacies of classical mechanics. Number 1. It does not hold in the region of atomic dimensions. So what does it mean? Atomic dimension means everything that atom consists of like electrons, neutrons, protons, etc. So classical mechanics was not applicable on these particles or in this minor dimension or unobservable dimension. It was failing to explain the motion of these subatomic and elementary particles. So it does not hold in the region of atomic dimensions. Number two. It could not explain the observed spectra of blackbody radiation. So, the spectra as curve that we obtained in blackbody radiation was also not explained by classical mechanics. We will study the blackbody radiation deeply in further videos. Now, number three, the variation in specific heat of metal and gases is also not explained. So, the variation that was seen in the specific heat of metal and gases was also not explained by it. This video is based on the points, so we are not going in the deep explanation. Number fourth, it could not explain the origin of the discrete spectra of atoms. This is so because according to classical mechanics, the energy changes are always continuous. But after further studies, we saw that spectra is discrete, means it was having different intensity at different places, like somewhere the intensity was high, somewhere it was low. So the variation in the intensity of energy level and the reason that why we get discrete spectra was also not explained by classical mechanics. Number five. It could not explain a large number of phenomena like Raman effect, photoelectric effect, Compton effect, blackbody radiation, etc. It could not explain a large number of phenomena as all are related to minor world, as it does not hold in region of atomic dimension. So it was failing here also. We will study all these topics in detail in our upcoming videos. Number sixth, it could not explain H spectra. So according to classical mechanics, hydrogen shows continuous spectra like this. While we later observed that it is discrete line spectra and here too classical mechanics was failing to give reason. Number seventh, this theory was not able to explain stability of atom. According to classical mechanics, when electron revolves around the nucleus, they loses energy and at last they falls into the nucleus. It means end of the life of an atom. This phenomenon is known as electron death spiral. 
Moreover, the charge is also zero according to them as equal number of electrons and protons gives overall zero charge. It means atom doesn't exist. Now obviously this is wrong and again classical mechanics failed in this minor world and we end up with a result that doesn't make any sense. So clearly classical mechanics is insufficient to describe these types of problems and it got necessary to come up with a new physics to describe these types of problems and that physics is called quantum mechanics. So the inadequacies of classical mechanics led us to the origin of quantum mechanics. Now it's time to learn these points with a trick. Well, we are going to take a word atomic from the first point and let us assume that an atom is a ball and that ball is of black color from the second point and that ball is made up of metal from the third point additionally the ball is always hollow so it has gases in it now as it's written gases means obviously it has different gases means discrete different means discrete which comes from the fourth point so here we got a pack of four points we assumed a ball that is atom and that ball is of black color and it is made up of metal and it has gases as it is different so here we come with discrete so we have chosen single single word from each of our lines so now think if you have to give this black ball to a kid so you will give that ball to that kid and you will say just play with it it's a ball it is a black ball it is of metal and gases so he will not understand all these things that kid is that small that he can't understand what is black what is metal what is ball what is discrete nothing so here we get an idea about the fifth point that we have many things in it various phenomenon that classical mechanics was also failing to explain so here you get an idea of the next point now as the ball is round in shape so it is not stable here comes our next point stability of an atom so here also ball is unstable here we get an another idea so that's it by my side I am leaving 6th and 8th point for you as a homework. You have to connect it in this short story and make it complete. So here we are with all these points in our mind. Hope you find this video productive. Thanks for giving your time here. Take care.